Hello ladies and gentlemen, well, it's been a long time since I've done some retro gaming, so I thought I'd break out a copy of RetroArch and play a game I used to play as a child. Adam's Family for the Super Nintendo, a game released in 1992 and is supposed to be based off the movie from 1991. It is a 2D platforming game, you play as Gomez Adams and you have to rescue your family. The Hall of Stairs is like a hub and you can access different levels so you don't have to play anything in a particular order. So enemy rundowns, we've got walking broccoli, ghosts, some sort of flying thing, broccoli without head on it, ghouls, pumpkins, werewolves, mummies, fish, atoms, teapots, walking fish tanks, parrots, and just for us Linux users there are some penguins. Yay, penguins! Actually, there is quite a variety of enemies, and they do vary between the stages. Although I can't really say the challenge varies particularly much, as most enemies just walk left to right. Some enemies fly. How can you defend yourself against all these enemies? Well, the way of killing them is jumping on them, but occasionally there's invincibility. You can also have a couple of weapons with golf balls, and a sword. I like how there are some faithful elements to the movie and TV series. For example, where Pugsley steals signs, there's a whole room decorated with signs. Having a sword means you can stab the enemies from below or stab them in the back if you want to. Yeah. You lose the weapons if you happen to get hit once, but if you do hold them all the way to the boss, um, yeah, the golf ball makes the bosses ridiculously easy. Yeah, as an example there. Whoever the artist was who drew the bosses made them too cute and adorable for this game. Yeah, even on this boss, a ghastly goblin, he just looks far too cute and adorable. Without a weapon, you just have to jump on them. A lot of the bosses do have quite a few health points compared to you. There's no battery save feature in the game, but what you do get is a password. At least it's not too long, that. Only five characters. And you have to use a password if you run out of lives. Yes, lives, passwords. It really is old-fashioned. The enemies in one particular section of the game, the kitchen, cannot be killed. Yet you can't jump on them, can't use a weapon against them, you just have to avoid them. I'm glad there is a shortcut which does cut quite a bit of the uh, stage out. Yeah, so there's only a couple of levels to actually do. There's too many obstacles around and then you've got these steep slopes which just push you back down and straight into another enemy. It's yeah, definitely quite a challenge and I remember this being quite a challenge from when I was young. Definitely need all the full health point power-ups before going into it. I think this game is a lot easier if you keep moving. If you stop and think about it too much, it's just a lot harder. Just go in, push your way through and hope for the best. I probably should have played like that when I was younger. With the last boss, the fire dragon, you can only jump on his head. The rest of the body is indicated that it's spiky and would therefore injure you. But sometimes best just to go for it. Use the heart power-ups I've got. I have to say the artwork does look good in this game. Granny is drawn very well there and yeah, you can see the wrinkles on her face. And in the gallery section of the game you get to see artwork of all the family members. Yeah, quite well drawn. Here's a bit of a challenge with all the various spikes. Yeah. This is a challenging platforming game. I think what doesn't help the challenge is that the controls can be so slippery. And there's also this weird glitch where if you try throwing a golf ball while moving it stops you. Yeah, don't get that. It's not like Gomez is standing there using a the golf club. He's actually throwing the golf ball. So why can't he throw the ball while moving? Hmm, weird. So while the controls are slippery enough in most of the game, it's even worse in the ice section, or in the freezer. It's just, you're slipping and sliding all over the place. Again, the best strategy here is just keep moving. Just go with it, go with the sliding. And even on that last boss, oh look, I just slid straight into a spike, nice. There is a bug with the golf balls that you can destroy the transport. And I have to say this part of the game is faithful to the movie, faithful to the TV series, that Gomez does like playing with his trains. Although I'm not quite sure it's normal to have only a funnel for the train. What's keeping it on the rail? How is it floating? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking about this too much. 
I have to say that the game is at least faithful to the movie. And there's another example of destroying your own transport. Now the gondola doesn't even move. Something I never really understood though is the scale. Hmm. Are you meant to be shrunken? Is everything else massive? I don't know. This is the final boss, the nasty judge. Not really that difficult once you understand his pattern. The graphics are decent enough and the sound is good and you can hear the Adams Family tune. Could have done with more variety of the sound on the levels, it does seem to get a bit repetitive after a while, although younger me didn't seem to think that. But older me thinks this game has dated. Now as a retrospective look at the Adams Family from 1992. Thanks for watching, see you all later.